Hey guys, I'm Carmen and this video is inspired by Vogue in the Bag. This is my bag. She is tiny but mighty, kinda like me. She fits quite a bit for her small size and she's actually from Mango. What my handbag says about me is that I don't like to spend thousands of dollars on handbags. I'm okay with spending 20 bucks on a handbag. <laughs> I think the most I've spent on a handbag was probably $300. I can't see myself spending $3,000 on a handbag. I just, no, 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 no. And the first thing that I have in my bag is hand sanitizer. This is an essential for me. I feel like it's an essential for absolutely everyone. You know what? I'm actually going to put some on right now. I honestly get hand sanitizer from the most random places. This one is from the brand that I get my shampoo and conditioner from and is the Giovanni brand. And it doesn't dry out my skin, which I like. I hate when a hand sanitizer dries out my hands, but if my hands are feeling a little bit dry, I do have some hand lotion on me. This is from the brand Cake and it smells like cake. You know what? I know I just put hand sanitizer on, but I'm also going to add on some lotion. Why not? This smells amazing, you guys. Well, right now, the hand sanitizer does smell a little bit like alcohol, but that's okay. And it leaves my hands feeling velvety smooth, which we love. Next up, we have my AirPods. Can't leave the house without AirPods. You never know when you're going to need them. Surprisingly, these are my first ever AirPods and I've never lost them, which I'm quite proud of myself. Sunglasses instantly make you look a hundred times cooler than you actually are. And I love them. Can't leave my house without a pair of sunglasses. I actually don't keep sunglasses in my purse because I'm always either wearing them or they're on top of my head. And these are actually from Amazon, only 13 bucks, super cheap. But I got these because I wanted a pair of sleek black sunglasses. When it comes to sunglasses, I am horrible at keeping track of them. I lose them all the time. So I wanted some cheap ones that would do the job. And I think these are so cute for only being 13 bucks. Hmm, do I prefer function over style? I think it depends on my mood for the specific day. Right now, I think I'm in between. Like this is a decent size. I can't fit my entire house in this bag, but I can fit my daily essentials. And it's still really cute, really on trend. If I know I'm going to be running errands out all day, then obviously I would take a bigger bag. But on the other hand, if I'm going out for date night, I'll definitely take a more smaller, compact stylish bag to go in my outfit of course Ooh, my favorite products are up next i have a few lip products in here because you can't have too many lip products and the two main ones that i use all the time are from merit they're the all natural and marrakesh shades i currently have marrakesh on my lips i just think it's a really pretty light pink and the all natural is just a very natural like light brown shade it kind of takes the shade of your own lips which i really like and they're also very nourishing on the lips which we need during the winter season like we don't want to walk around with gross lips and then i have some tissues because it is the winter season allergy season is coming up next and i just like to be prepared in case i need to sneeze in case i need to blow my nose i know gross but we all do it and it's just good to have I also have a pack of wet ones. You never know when these are going to come in handy and these are especially handy when you're traveling. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. Perfume, this is a travel size perfume. This is from the brand Define Me. Why was I looking underneath when I know the brand? Is there Sophia Isabel scents? I don't know how people carry full size bottles of perfume in their bag. I feel like that would make 
my bag so heavy so i'm more of a travel size perfume gal and of course my phone who doesn't carry around their phone nowadays i feel like i'm actually pretty good at not being on my phone all day i really hate scrolling on instagram or scrolling on tiktok i think that's so bad for your mental health and if you're currently doing that this is a reminder to put your phone down of course once you finish watching this video and go outside and take a walk it'll do wonders for your mental health i promise next Next up, we have my wallet, another essential that I can't leave my house without. Fun fact, not only is this my wallet, but this is also my husband's wallet. Like he'll leave his phone and wallet at home if we're going out together. And then he'll be like, can you carry my ID and my debit card for me? And I'm like, sure, I'm already carrying a purse, so why not? Anyone else married and their significant other does that to them because I just think it's hilarious. Now for my old lady slash emergency pouch carry this little pouch with me everywhere. I have my inhaler, obviously. Can't leave my house without this because you just never know when my asthma is going to act up. I also have band-aids. Never know when you're going to need a band-aid. <laughs> I have some cough drops because I have really bad allergies and sometimes I am outside and my throat becomes so itchy. So these have come in a handy when I have an itchy or so throat. I always keep a couple cough drops in my bag and because again, I have really bad allergies. I keep these travel size allergy pills with me at all times. I also normally have Advil in the travel size packs, but I guess I ran out because I currently don't have any. And then I also have wipes. This one is also from my shampoo and conditioner brand. This is their sanitizing toilettes. I think I got this when I did a huge hair product order from them and they threw this in for free and then I actually bought these these are box natural wipes I love these because not only can you use them to wipe up messes but you can also use them to refresh your lady parts your armpits maybe wipe off sweat from your face and the packaging is so cute I love how they're individually wrapped we're almost done you guys I promise hair tie a must especially living in hot weather I like to wear my hair down but then and I'm hit with reality when I go outside and it's just too hot to have my hair down on most days So I always end up pulling it up in a bun and this comes in handy I also have some chapstick because like I said who wants to walk around with chapped lips? I also have a pen you never know when you're going to need one You never know when you're going to have to fill out some paperwork So this has come in handy a lot of times if I could fit anyone inside my bag It would probably be my two cats I'm obsessed with them. I love them so much. If I could bring them everywhere with me, I 100% would bring them with me everywhere. I kind of wish I could bring them outside for walks. I know that some people do, but I'm just so paranoid that I would think that they would run off or that a big ass bird would come down and grab them. I also carry around my keys. These are important or else I will be locked out. I have a little keychain that I got from New York this past summer. Fun fact, my middle name is Rachel. My mom wanted to name me Rachel, but my father wanted to name me Carmen, so they kind of settled with Carmen Rachel. No one in my family has ever called me Carmen. At one point in my life, I actually considered changing my first name to just Rachel because I really don't like the name Carmen. I don't think it fits me, but then I realized how much of a hassle it would be, so I decided not to change it. I also carry around some bobby pins. I have bangs, and sometimes I just don't want to have any hair on my face, so I'll pin my bangs back and keep it moving. For a little snack, I've been carrying around these Sweet Tart shoes. I actually bought a huge box of these during Christmas as a stocking stuffer gift for my husband. These are his favorite candy and they're actually really hard to find. They're not healthy, but they're tasty. They also make your breath smell really good because they're fruity. If I could trade bags with anyone, it will probably be Selena Gomez because I am obsessed with her. I think she's so beautiful. She's such a classy, badass woman. She's a business owner. She's an actress she's a singer she does absolutely everything and i feel like she would carry around all the essentials that any female would need and i would love to know what she carries around in her bag But that's pretty much it for my what's in my bag, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, you guys know the drill. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.